So with the May security patch, Evolution XOS is now here. The version is 7.9, the previous version, the 7.8. I made a video already on that one. If you didn't check it out yet, make sure to check out. We have Evolution X version 7.9 based on Android 13 with the May security patch. And it's now officially rolling out for all the supported devices. If your device already got the update, why you're not trying this thing? Because with this version, there are tons of new things, new changes. Of course, one of the biggest changes is Evolution X launcher. It was included in some uh, updates in the previous uh, in the previous times and previous days for some of the devices but with the version 7.8 it was not included so that's why i am just going to talk about this one finally this launcher is back a lot of users were not actually loving pixel launcher anymore but if you need some customizations in the default launcher evolution xos default launcher is which is evo x launcher is now back so you can customize a lot of things there are many options for you to customize on your device looks quite amazing second thing is in this evolution x launcher update now you have the option to clear all the task by just shaking your phone and same kind of options available in rise Stroid custom launcher too if you move on to your recent panel you can simply shake your device like this and this is it recent gone if i move on to other options where well, the major change which i got here is the quick settings panel you can see the quick settings panel that clock in the left top is now not same like android 13's qpr2 which was in the march security patch it's now a bit changed if i move on to the quick settings panel customizations you can see the quick settings header image is now introduced i still remember the times with android 5 or android 6 times these kind of things were so popular especially with the resurrection remix custom room but unfortunately these things were gone in the upcoming updates with the those new updates actually but now finally they are bringing you these kind of things back it was available in one other custom room i actually don't remember that i'm not sure which custom room was that but this is quick settings panel header images looks insane if you want to customize your quick settings panel with this one go and explore this option is available in the quick settings panel also with this new update now brightness light also got some customizations two options are available so for example i tried this field option so if i move on here this is how the field style looks like in the brightness slider to be honest it actually doesn't look good at least for me but the second one which is like a thin this looks good let me show you how this ui is looking like this is it it simply gives me the feel like i'm using project themer or iconify or maybe android 11 style quick setting panel or this brightness slider looks quite good another feature another new thing which i got here is a transistent task mode which is available in the apps option which is actually a literally new thing which simply dismiss apps from recents when last activity gets closed using back button to be honest i hadn't tried it out this feature yet but it was introduced in this version so i thought i shall share with this with you same like that if i move on to the lock screen customizations you have the option to disable that fingerprint authentication vibration on any or enable that and it was not available in the previous update it's now uh, it's now finally back and i found this feature so useful i sometimes use this sometimes don't but this feature is just so useful and all the major changes which were introduced with version 7.9 i've already shared with you but else this customer brings you a lot of customizations one thing which actually i was disappointed about in the quick settings panel the quick setting styles if you're able to notice other options are there but where is surround which is one of my favorite ones i already shared with you in the previous updates it's not there so a little bit of disappointment but that's completely fine because a lot of new things were introduced with this version same like that if i move on to some other options lock scene clock also got some fonts um, so i mean lock skin styles are there looks good theming options basically same here status bar has the same customization options for you like battery options we have the icon related customizations some things related to notification count and etc notifications quick settings gestures etc same kind of options but if you move on to the miscellaneous options you will be able to notice that spoofing options are now back we have unlimited photo storage unlim unlock the higher fps in games and the netflix spoof option is already present and the features were so useful for some of the users i don't use them to be honest but looks good other options are basically same so one thing one thing let me just check it out if i move on to the security options in security we have the app locker option so let's see if app lock still supports a system apps to lock or not and i think so it supports it actually supports looks good so this is it thanks for watching link is available in the description goodbye